Hello, YouTube. I'm gonna go kill a lady, and then I'm gonna go kill Poi Bussy. The Nidus is an idiot. Just kidding, I got hit by her because I'm also an idiot. Stupid lady. I don't know why people like her. Time to take on the prettiest little boy in the game. He's a real pain to fight with a bow because it's dark. Actually, I think you can fight him when it's still light in that Orlando. But I never do. I always kill Guinevere. But since it's dark, I have to get really close to him before I can target him. Anyway, if you're super new to the game, the pillars on the sides of the wall can block the arrows and the, like, really small soul masses, I guess is what they are. But they can't block the really huge magic thing. So if he shoots that when you're at a pillar, just roll into the wall. But if I, if I had fought him when it was still light, I, this would have gone way faster. Because you don't really have the time to manually target him. Most of the time, anyway. So I have to rely on getting close enough to auto-target him. Since I don't really have anything else to talk about, I guess I'll mention the fact that I'm taking away the restriction I set to kill all mini bosses in the game because I'm getting really bored of this and I don't really care at this point. None of the remaining mini bosses are a challenge and they're all out of the way. I don't want to go back to the catacombs just to kill the Great Axe Black Knight, aka the easiest Black Knight in the game to kill. What's the point? Nobody's going to be entertained by it. I'm not going to have fun doing it. Screw it. I'm not going to have fun fighting Vince and Nico in the dark. So, I'm just going to kill the bosses from here on out, which is going to be fun because the remaining bosses are the most fun ones to fight. So, if I ever do any future challenges, I am not going to kill all mini bosses. I might specify a few that I have to kill, but the vast majority of them are not hard or fun or anything. So, I have my plus 15 compo or, uh, light crossbow. That's going to be a barrel of fun. 
I suppose you can guess where I'm going now. The best area in the game. I don't see how there are console players who haven't bought the DLC yet. It's like it's so much better than the rest of the game. All of the best bosses are in Ulysseal. The crappy corrupted humans or whatever they are in Ulysseal. Just the normal enemies you fight are the most fun normal enemies to fight in the game. People worry, and this is basically just me parroting what I've seen other people say, but people worry about how Dark Souls 2 might not be as good because it's going to have a different director. But the, from what I understand, the DLC, this this area, was not made under the under the same direction. So I think that's pretty indicative that even with a different director, the rest of From knows what they're doing, and they know how to make a good Dark Souls game. And if Dark Souls 2 is anything like the Ulysseal content of this game, it's going to be amazing. So we've got the Sanctuary Guardian here, he's a real pain because he has pretty high elemental defenses, or I think just defenses in general, which is true of all of the bosses in Ulysseal actually, which means split damage sucks, which is why even though my uh, fire composite bow does more damage overall than the light crossbow, I believe. In practice, it doesn't do as much damage. I'm sure most people watching already understand how that works, how split damage has less of an effect on high defense enemies. But if not, basically think of it this way. If an enemy has physical defense and fire defense, then there are two different defenses being applied to the damage that the composite bow does, because it does physical and fire damage. Whereas if I shoot the enemy with the light crossbow, only its physical defense is being uh, applied to the damage I do to it, because I'm only doing physical damage. I'm pretty sure everything I just said is correct. If it's not, please kill me and insult me and correct me in the comments. I died because I'm an idiot. I'm sorry.
got him. Hash tag got him. Not a lot to say about that fight. The attacks you saw me attack after are the ones that leave him open. Needless to say. Which, as you probably saw, there are very few that actually leave him open for being hit by a crossbow. Which is why most of the fight I was just standing around, waiting to dodge. And by the way, it was pure luck that my red tear stone activated. I had it equipped just in case I got hit and, you know, had enough health to survive but still be in red tear stone range. But I did not plan that. Yeah. I have never used these things before. Spoilers, I'm about to use them. And... <laughs> I didn't really see that they made a difference. They're probably better if you're mid-rolling or fat-rolling, which you're not really going to do unless you're doing PvP. But again, I know nothing about PvP, so maybe they're really useful there. There's probably some kind of setup you can do on the dogs, but I don't want to risk it because they're kind of unpredictable. Unless you're just going to straight up kill them. But jumping off the cliff repeatedly works. It's slow, but it works. Oh yeah, I died to Artorius once, so... There's my blood spot. That attack always leaves Artorius open. I think after his third jump, you have just enough time to hit him with the bow, but I'm not 100% sure about that. This attack is always an opening. Though, about half the time, he'll move in a way where you just miss, but, you know, he doesn't hit you. I don't do enough damage to knock him out of this, however, if you hit him in the head, it'll knock him out of it. I don't really care though, because I'm in red tier stone range anyway. So whether he powers up or not, he can one-shot me with anything. Needless to say, this jumping attack is always an opening. And uh, that's why I have my crossbow equipped. You have enough time to hit him with the crossbow instead of the bow. It's just a bit of extra damage.
Yeah, that was a headshot. You can actually, I should have said this from the beginning, you can stun lock Artorias with headshots from the very beginning of the fight. Or so I've heard. But I've never actually been able to, to do it because headshots aren't consistent enough for me. But I mean, I'm pretty sure you can just walk in through the fog gate, manually aim, headshot Artorias, and then just keep headshotting him until he dies. But what's the point of playing the game if you're going to do that? Artorias is the best boss in the game. One of the best bosses in video games ever. Are you really just going to st stunlock him to death? Like, why don't you go kill yourself instead? That was a lot of fun. Best boss in the game. Hands down. <laughs> See ya!